hi everyone welcome back to my youtube channel it's your girl ade oye ade here again if this is your first time you're welcome and if you're an existing subscriber an og a, 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 a committed member thank you so much for always always coming back in today's video like you can see from the title we are going to be discussing about jealousy <laughs> yes we are going to be discussing about jealousy um first of all i'm going to be sharing my own opinion of what, of, what, of what i think jealousy is the signs of jealousy and um the reason why you're jealous maybe and um how to overcome jealousy okay now um so i believe that jealousy is a sign or a feeling of insecurity a feeling of being possessive of um another person say their um qualities um, their achievements and all of those things so it's a feeling of you're not being you're not good enough and you know all of those negative energy so that is what i believe that um jealousy is about okay so if you're if you <laughs> if you're a jealous person i'm <laughs> and you do already know i'm going to be telling you all of, um, some of the signs of a jealous person so just start to just start to pick okay just start to pick the one that belongs to you if you pick if 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 some of these attributes are yours then you need to sit down and you know just ask yourself why am i even jealous okay so yeah the first um sign of jealousy is you find it hard to be happy for people you find it hard to con congratulate people um especially when they get what you're um hoping to have so i'm going to give you an example so maybe you're you're someone you're single and then um, you're hoping so one day oh my mr right is going to come so you're just praying oh god i want to get married i want somebody to come and put ring on the finger you know something like that <laughs> and then maybe one of your friends come and say oh um xyz i'm getting married would you like to be in my bridal train and you give the person a million and one excuses why you don't want to be in their bridal train and you know you know deep down within yourself that you're not genuinely happy for this person then as a matter of fact when when people succeed or when people celebrate their success if you're not genuinely 101 percent happy for them you need to check yourself and i'm going to use myself as an example i i want i don't think i've been jealous of anyone in any way however when people get what i'm also praying for for example um someone um badge badges a degree let me put let me use that as an example maybe um i'm studying for a program and the other person is also studying the same program i'm studying and maybe they batch their degree and they're like oh um oh this is this is this i've batched this degree da 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 um a feeling comes within me as and be like oh this person has bachelor's degree immediately i counter that feeling and say oh god you that did it for this person please do it for me and it just goes away okay it just i'm telling you the fact it just dissolves and goes away see the spirit of jealousy is evil if you are <laughs> if you are jealous to the extent that you're thinking of evil to another person then i'm sorry i cannot help you that is just equivalent to being a witch okay it is equivalent to being a witch so yeah so um, the first sign of jealousy is that you find it hard to be happy for people you find it hard to congratulate people um the second sign of jealousy is that you begin to compare yourself a lot so when you find that you compare yourself to people a lot of time like when somebody does something or when somebody earns something or succeeds at something you begin to compare yourself ah um this person she's just this amount of age and she's gotten this and this and this and i'm this i'm oh i'm even older than this person and i've not even attained to see um, there's a song that there's a, a nursery rhyme that says row 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 your boat gently on the stream row your own boats paddle your own canoe follow your own path my path and your path are not the same okay um god's um, um design for my own life is different from god's design for your own life so you need to be able to function in your own calling follow the roots and paths that god is leading you to the fact that this person is um getting everything without blockers and you are before you do something you you know there's a blocker here there's a blocker here you break through there's another blocker see there's a reason for those blockers there's a reason why god has placed those blockers in your path see good things don't come easy good things are not cheap okay so when god is preparing for 
preparing you for another level of grace it will not come easy it's not going to come cheap man it's not going to come easy so you'll be ex see i want to tell you that when you experience some blockers in your life like you're trying to get something and the enemy is trying to feel you know within yourself quite often that the enemy is trying to fight you to get or you know pass this breakthrough then your destiny is great you don't even know what you've got. See, the devil, the enemy cheats us day after day after day just because we don't know who we are. We don't know who, we don't know what we possess and we don't know what we carry. So go back to your room right now. Sit down and think, who am I? Begin to search within yourself and begin to search, begin to look through your, you know, what you've gone through. And I want to also tell you that if you pass through a stage and God successfully takes you through that process, Anything, so there's nothing that you will face in this life that God will not take you. There's nothing that is bigger than God, point blank. There is nothing, absolutely nothing that is bigger or greater or more powerful than God. And that is what you should know. So when when people are succeeding, rejoice with them. There's a Yoruba saying that says, what it means is that celebrate with others so that others too will celebrate with you, you know yeah so when you begin to compare yourself with others is 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 a sign of jealousy another um, sign of jealousy is a feeling of not being enough so when people are doing well you look in yourself and tell yourself oh i'm not enough um i don't have i don't this person has this um gift i don't have this gift this person has this quality i don't have this quality you know when you feel like okay maybe this person possesses good quality you can build yourself up okay you can um groom yourself you can take professional courses you can you know you can do a lot of things that can help you to be a better person as well after all personal development is very very important so when you begin to um, have that feeling that you're not good enough is another sign of jealousy another sign of jealousy is when you begin to harbor evil feelings when you begin to harbor negative feelings over another person or you know against another person so when you begin to have you know feelings that you know that you no know, these feelings ain't right these feelings are not good feelings that is another you know um sign of jealousy you know when the person walks through a room you begin to you know have this strange you know very very hateful feeling about another person without that person even offending you or doing anything to you then is another sign of jealousy okay so i'm going to move now to how do you overcome jealousy the thing you can do so the first thing you can do um to overcome jealousy is just to relax calm down you know this video this rare video of this young boy mommy calm down be calming down you need to calm down you need to be calming down okay so you need to calm down you need to relax do not put pressure on it. pressure is not good pressure is very very bad pressure destroys a lot of things you stop putting pressure on yourself stop putting unnecessary uh, uh unrealistic expectations stop putting unrealistic targets on yourself don't stop saying okay this person has accomplished this thing ah before this time i must also accomplish and then you begin to wear yourself down you begin to stress yourself you begin to even hate that person the more so you need to calm yourself down you need to be calming down okay you need to relax and do not put pressure on yourself now the next point i, I like to make is that Talk to someone, talk to somebody that you trust, talk to somebody that you know within yourself that you can confide in, talk, talk, to, talk to somebody that can actually help you come out of these hateful feelings, okay? So talk to someone that is, you know, that you know that will cancel you right, okay? So find somebody to talk to and I'm sure you will feel better, okay? So the next point I would also like to make is that you can sow a seed, okay? Don't over, don't underestimate the power of seeds. And what I mean by seed is, okay, fine. Um, like, okay, I'm going to use my, like, I'm just going to use the example I used earlier. So let's assume that I'm taking a course and this person is also taking a course and this, this person has passed or has branch that degree and you know i've already prayed in my heart that oh god help me you did it for this person do it for me as well i can sow a seed i can sow a seed in in that regard to say okay um this seed um i'm sowing it um for this 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 this, this reason god help me you know you can 
you can decide to maybe give the seed to less privilege you can actually sow a seed into that person's life you know you can add you can tell that person that ah this person i'm sowing this seed into your life ah i i i i glorify the name of god for this breakthrough that god has given you and i'm trusting god for the same and so therefore i'm sowing this seed into your life so you can actually sow a seed into that into the life of that person okay so that is another way to overcome or deal with jealousy now um the next way that you can deal with jealousy is to do your best and just leave the rest to god see there is there is so much you can do on your own you cannot if you do not if you don't have god eh, and if you don't go with god you cannot go far so another thing that you need to do to come out of jealousy to stop being jealous is that <laughs> just do your best do your optimum see you know when sometimes you write an exam and you just know that ah, i've done my best in this examination that's exactly what i'm talking about do your absolute best do your absolute best do the best that you can okay do the best that you can convince yourself that i have done my best god just take it from just take it from here uh, you know there's something there's there's this adage that says that it is where the strength of a man stops that the power of god continues so it is where your your strength stops that the power of god will take it up from there so just do your best and just leave the rest to God. Another thing I'm going to share with you is pray. When you start having that, those hateful feelings, those strange and 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 feelings that you know that this feeling is one of God, just pray about it. Pray against the spirit of jealousy. Pray against the spirit of envy. You know, just ask. Just tell God, like, God, I don't know why I'm being jealous of this person. Is it because of this? Is it because of that? Just take this spirit away from me. I do not want this kind of negative energy in my life. So, yeah, that is another way to um deal with jealousy yeah and that is the end of this video i just thought to share um this um, some of these tips with you so if you know anyone um you know if if you yourself you know you're kind of kind of jealous of someone or kind of envying someone you know just share this video share this video with them watch this video over and over again try these tips let me know in the comment section what you think if you have some tips please do feel free to share it in the comment section as well like i always say you do not know who is watching you do not know who is reading all of your comments so please do feel free to share um yeah don't forget to follow me on my social media handles at adioye agwegwe uh adioye underscore i don't know why i always say that adioye underscore it has an underscore okay adioye underscore agwegwe and you can also email me for collaborations at adioye underscore agwegwe at yahoo.com yes i do really hope that you've enjoyed this video don't forget to also give this video a big thumbs up it helps my um, engagement it helps me to know that you like this video it helps me to know that you want this type of content so yeah please me please help me okay help me if you have videos suggestions please drop it in the comment section i will see you in my next video stay blessed and god bless you Mwah. bye